Hi friends and welcome to my channel. So today we are continue our series, our GTA. So we want to be able to, um, when the aiming, we have to put the, um, the crosshair and also we want to put the back animation we have. <laughs> I don't put in the last video, so I wanna uh, update this uh, now. So before I start the tutorial, I want to say thank you so much for all your support because you keep the channels going. And when you support, I want to create that small studio so we can provide you to be more easy to create your games and our game too, so totally for free, the animation, blueprint, and also asset with my personal uh, help full time, absolutely for free. So if you want to help us to create that uh, project, you only need to go to my coffee page and you can donate for just one dollar if you want or you can be a member if you're a member depending on your subscription you're gonna have exclusive stuff for example exclusive video access to the video before i publish and also the project file from this tutorial uh, if you're a member already you want to see all is available for you uh, for you you only need to go to my youtube channel subscribe to my channel in the right top corner here if you click here they want to open a new list where all the stuff is already available so they're gonna be the last update. I update this list almost every day. This is gonna be the um, video game my wife makes. You only need to check this out in the Steam. And this is gonna be free for everybody. And this is gonna be the new video added in the last update. And also they're gonna be all the exclusive videos, all the tutorial videos un unpublished, all the unpublished game video, and also the project files. So if you are a member, you only need to click in the links and you go directly with the staff R. So if you want to talk with me directly, you can go to my Discord page. So if you have some uh, requests for a video or you need help in your project, or maybe you uh, the tutorial is not working for you, I can uh, help you too with that. So you only need to write me to my Discord. For me, it's more easy to respond from the comments on the Discord to the comments on the YouTube. And if you want to talk with me privately or sponsorship, you only need to go to my email. So write me to my email and that's it. So the, my email and the links for Discord and Coffee is going to be in the description of all these videos. So also remember that 100% of the money raised is going to be for the creation of video game and for the YouTube channel. So thank you and let's start a tutorial. So let's open to Unreal. So let's see. So we have here the project. So there's gonna be the crosshair. I download this from a page. I don't remember the name because I downloaded a long time ago. But this is uh, absolutely free. So you only need to go to Google. You just put something like, for example, crosshair without copyright or maybe crosshair CCO or CC0. Uh, they're gonna give you a lot of stuff. You can use even commercially. So that's gonna be good for this project. So I have this one. So I see if you want this one exactly, you only need to don't love my project, you're gonna have this crosshair. There's nothing special about it, but it's free, so that's gonna be awesome. So let's use that one, and also I have this pack I created myself, but you can uh, have this uh, pack animation probably from Xamu, thing like that, you only need to retarget to the uh, project, the, the, uh, to the skeleton. So let's open it, just say yes. So let's use our DP main uh, character, so let's say OK, and now we have this animation. I created that step in my last project, but it's working perfectly fine. So they have this back. So let's save everything. And let's check, because right now, like I said, if we walk in, um, they're going to work perfectly fine. But when we pick up the weapon, if we go backward, we don't have <laughs> that animation. So let's put that. They're going to be the first, that's the more easiest one. So let's do that. So we need to go to our GTA uh, character animation and go here. Uh, we have a lot here. So let's go to DP and in blueprint. Uh, we're supposed to go to the plan space, but it's okay. So it's gonna be idle. So let's see what we had the water run. Locomotion we have in here. So let's open this. So we need to put here the back because we don't do it yet. And also we need the iron in here, I forgot to put here. So let's put iron in here. So let's go here, 100, and also the iron in here. So we have everything, yes, yes. 
okay and also we need the back so they're gonna uh, we can looking for it so let's put back so dp back so we can put it in here so let's drag this up and also in here probably put it like that so right click it's 250 here 250 so you see they change everything so we need the back to in here so let's drag this and also this one so let's open and 250 so now we have the right correct everything so let's use control we can use this it's a lot better so let's test it out now so let's go play so we have this so let's open uh, pick up this weapon so aiming and now we have power they have a little glitch because probably they have we need to more animation to put in the plane space but I wanna leave it like that I wanna give you a tip uh, so you can put more animation so for example let's close this so we need for example more animation because if we we need if we will check here you have this clipping stuff probably you have some clipping in here too you see probably in here no here's okay so here so you're gonna need more animation for example forward 45 something like that so yeah they have that clipping so so we you're gonna need that um, 45 stuff and things like that so an easy way to uh, make your own is only you need to go to your where you have the walking for example so let's see if i have it here working forward so let's duplicate it so i'm gonna set this for example rename this forward 45 for example angle there's an angle sorry i don't say that before so let's open this so let's stop this so a good reference is to go backward well, my channel to go over here so let's go in the back it's like you want to see your blend space so you have this one so i want to look in that way so the uh, easier way to do it just go this to zero just go to root just rotate this 45 so 40 so we need to change this no uh, five so let's find more so we have 45 so we can key and save so we have that 45 but if for example you want to still look in front you only, you need to only go to head choose the head and you rotate at the opposite 45 so now you can keep can key key so safe so now we have this animation so if we close here if we go play we have now our 45 angle so we can use this in our uh, blend space so you only need to go to your blend space again so that gonna be this one no it's not the one so it's the locomotion so we want to add it in here so you need to open this a little more so I, you need to go to horizontal because we're looking for horizontal and let's put here for example we can put here six or eight i'm gonna put eight so we have more lines you, you see we notice one, one more here one more here one more here so that's easy so now we can go to our new walk forward 45 so 45 is gonna be this side that's right so we can put it here so we only need to put here the maximum speed 500 no, that's working sorry so working they gonna be here so because our speed walking is 250 so let's go here so right click 250 in the direction gonna be 45 so that's it so you only need to control now we have this animation for that side so we have better in this side so oh, you only need to create that in the left so let's create it so let's save let's go again to no use this one use the forward so let's duplicate again so now I'm gonna put uh, minus 45 because remember now it's the left 
so let's open this so let's stop go back everything so use the reference so if you don't know what you're doing because uh, let's go like this so now let's go again skeleton tree go to root root means everything so let's that's why so let's here just rotate this 45 30 35 40 I can see it but I know it's 45 so like that so let's key remember to put key first a safe and go to head so there's gonna be head and we can rotate this minus 45 so let's go like this so now we can keep a safe so now we have the left so let's close this go again to our uh, locomotive it's not that one I always forgot so this one so now we want to walk in so let's go to vinyl 45 and let's put this one in here so right click so here it's gonna be minus 45 and this one 250 so now we have control we can see we have this animation so that's a lot better we have before so they're gonna be the total minus 90 and the one minus 45 plus 45 90 so we have better now so we have here some glitching here so we're gonna need probably more like if you notice direct on 68 so you can go to like 65 you can put more animation the most you can this better going to be your uh, blend space so for example we have running around so we have directly to walk forward there's no really good animation we need to run and right so if we need it so and the other one they want to be wrong uh, 45 you only need to do the same step uh, step we do in the walking that is the only thing we need to do I don't want to do it in this video because it's going to take forever but at least you know how to do this your own animation with everything you have so they're going to be more smooth because if they're using the same animation you're using for forward so they're going to be in the have better blend you know that's forward, they're going left, exactly the same, so you, you, you don't know that nothing. So the blend is perfect, so because it's the same animation. So that's it for the animation, so let's save it. So let's check now if we have, a, we have already better, so let's play it. So let's pick up this um, assault rifle, and now we have forward better, you see. Still we have an issue go power because we need more animation, like I said. So you only need to do that. So let's create that uh, cross here because I don't know what I'm looking at right now so to find it. So let's do that. So let's close this. So let's make this uh, cross here. So we need uh, a hat because we don't have a radio or SUD, depending on what you call it. So let's uh, create that one. So let's go to GTA folder. So right click, go to new folder. And call this UI because user interface. So let's open here, right click, use user interface in the bottom, you go to widget blueprint, use the user widget as UI. So let's call this HUD. We can call this uh, WP1 for widget. So let's open this. That's gonna be a really easy uh, widget. So we need to put this here, put a camera canvas panel of so canvas panel so let's drag this in here so we have the screen already so in here we need an image so it's gonna be image so let's use that one put in here and this one we want to be anchored in the middle and we want to be sucked in the middle so they want zero zero and this one we can play with this I wanna put for example right now 50 by 50 and this one because you notice it's a little upside here so let's put this 0.5 and the other 0.5 so now we have exactly in the middle so let's compound safe and the image we want is the in and brush we want to open this go the image and looking for us crosshair so let's put crosshair so now we have the crosshair I don't know if you can see it it's right there so let's compound and save so let's go to test map so go to character so GTA um, character 
we go to the DB man blueprint or we can use DB charter blueprint because it's the main one. So let's go on this one. So in here, let's right click, put begin play. And we want to create that widget. So from here, create widget. And we want to use our hat uh, widget. The only apply is already this one, so it's gonna be self, so that we don't need to do it, so it's already there. So in here, we can promote this, because I don't want to the hat be all the time, just sometimes, so let's promote this to variable, and let's call this uh, hat. So let's see, so hat. So now we have this window, I want to add it to the screen, because we don't, we don't need it. Or we, we can add it if we want. So let's add it. So to do it to a different way. So let's add to uh, to viewport. So like that. <clears throat> and from here we want to call set visibility. This is a different way to do it. So let's go to visibility, visibility, and change this. You can use hiding or collapse. Hiding the way set here, not visible but occupies layer space so this is right there but you can see it but if you collapse it they say no visible and take up no space so they mean it's not there anymore but if you go visible they go back so i want to use collapse so let's do it like this so compile and save so right now if we go play we can see this widget because it's not there well yeah, it's there but you can see the uh, widget so let's do that. So now let's go to aiming. We have in here. So if the if true, we want to add it here. So let's make some space here. So let's go like this. So if we aiming, we want to add our hard, get hard. You wanna put here set visibility, and we want to be visible. So let's go this and also we can go whoops we can put this guy just a little down and also they want to, they don't look that bad so let's uh, it's okay yeah it's okay so in here we want to do the same so from here let's do it again set visibility but this time we want to be the same one before so let's let's move this everything too close together so let's put this in here so connect this to this and this to this and change the visibility to collapse again so that's it so let's compile and save let's go play and let's test this out so if we pick up this uh, assault rifle if we aiming we have that that aiming right there so now we know we are looking in that direction. So if I hit, they want to hit exactly with the my crosshair. Yes. So that's it for this tutorial. So if you want to support us to make that small studio so we can provide you for free asset, animation, blueprint, and also my personal help uh, full time. So you only need to go to my coffee page. So they're gonna be more easy for us to in this to create our games and things like that. So, like I said, thank you for watching. I see you in the next video. So, bye bye.